This is your daily market review for Wednesday, November 22nd, 2023. Happy Turkey Day. Hey everyone, this is my channel to help investors and traders develop a probability-based mindset to succeed. Also try and keep friends informed of what's going on in the markets and the economy, and also a little real estate content as well. This is Dan Max at Extra Realty, aka okay, The Trading Agent, and this is your daily market review for Wednesday, November 22nd, 2023. Another excellent day in the life of the trading markets. If you have any questions, again, please reach out. Link to the Discord room, description below. Well, as we talked about, the markets, if you were waiting, looking to take profits, thinking about shorting, we said, do not be surprised if the week of Thanksgiving can be a great opportunity to take profits, start looking at some shorts, and just be thoughtful of the light volume, manipulative games that go on this time of year. Well, as you might know, as we talk about headlines, things seem to just pop up out of nowhere, and things might get a little hairy near term. But again, even if they don't, I think you're building a what I would consider a pretty strong level of resistance for failure in time. Again, we'll dig into the charts. Evidence always is based, or the trades are always based on evidence. This is not just speculating on certainty, it's speculating on probability. So again, have any questions, please reach out, commonly link below need a chat, want to talk about things, real estate related, anything. Again, here for you. Check out on YouTube, like, subscribe, hit the notification bell. Again, you'll get live alerts of the live chats that I do. I've done probably two already this week, might do another one. Just keep it simple, stupid. Again, website, thetradingagent.com. We will be getting a rebranding and a complete, I don't know, transfer with cooler updates and updating over the holidays. Might finish it by Sunday, maybe not. That's something I'm working on with some folks. Should be cool. Interactive brokers use that link. Get the thousand dollars of potential, potential again, up to a thousand dollars of interactive broker shares. Again, your brokerage might be going out of business. Don't be surprised. Again, also check out if you're not getting the 250 or sorry, the 5.4% high yield saving account. What are you doing? Get your money out of these 0.01% interest rate bullshit nits. Places, just don't, please. Also, follow on Twitter, posting a ton of stuff that we think is interesting, posting trades, posting ideas, keeping it simple. Yellen says, higher for longer scenario, by no means a given. When Yellen talks, the market listens. Sometimes it fades her. Uh, Bitcoin, chopping around again. As I've said, I don't really trust this stuff up here. Gold, oil, all those things. I think they're going to be volatile. Again, they will break out, in my opinion, when the feds do what? Pivot and throw the liquidity mechanism back on. Right now, they're pulling liquidity out. It's going to be choppy. Same thing with oil. Again, down $3, pops right back all over the place. Natural gas, again, I mean, it's very clear. There's a little baby trend line forming. I would not be surprised if uh, we just broke it, right? Check it out. It looks like we just, uh, why are we? Uh, it's like you don't know how to draw. Come on. Come on. All right, well, you can see it. There would be one. Why are you being like that? Anyway, you can see it. There would be one. Anyway, back to trading on e-signal. Oh, thank God. Dollar, we talked about the 29s. Watch it. So far, so good holding. When Could we retest? Keep an eye on it. Again, we're the best currency out of all the crap in the world, essentially, which I don't really think says a lot. PLT, we talked about watching the 90 area. We're in there. We're in there. Maybe the 100 day. Again, the 100 day has been important. Do we get there? I don't know. We'll see. Near term, it's tough to know. VIX, talked about the gift down here. I mean, unbelievable. 12s, get out of here. Vixen, 1666. Hmm, 1666. Weird things have happened when the market has a lot of these sixes involved. Just remember that. VIX, we said it's holding up. Look at it. It's holding up pretty well. It supports SPY. We said last week, don't be surprised to fill the gap 455, 450, whatever, mid 450s. Kind of drawing what I'm expecting at some point. Down, chop, then more down later. Everyone's bullish. Looks like the CTAs got all in. Again, everybody went all in. Biggest inflows in years. And then it starts getting choppy. Talked about shorting the queues today. Just on the up move, if you saw the live chat. Did a great live chat earlier. You might want to check it out. You might appreciate some of the live insights. We talked about watching the fake breakout of this, like, whatever you want to call it, pennant. Man, why is my line? Watch this. The line's going to readjust. Dizzing. There it is. I was curious to see how it played out. And again, you could draw it. I'm sorry. Many different ways. Either way. 
get my point. Holding the range lows. Let's see what happens. Minana. IWM, we talked about this lagging forever. Continues to lag. Oops, sorry. Get out of there. Get off the 10 minute. <clears throat> Watching the 180 level. Lagging under major moving average. Dia fills a gap today, which is rather impressive. Again, holding up pretty well. Considering Caterpillar's down, some of these names, some up, some down. Keep an eye on it. Good old gold. Again, I mean, I don't know. I have to be a broken record. I just don't trust it. I don't trust till the Fed's pivot. Silver's lagging. GDX is lagging. I mean, these all these names should be much higher if they had true backing behind them. GDXJ looks the same. Just kind of a sloppy, choppy mess. If you guys want to play in this game, gals, you go right ahead. I have no desire. AG, chopping. Right? AEM, check it out. Right? Same kind of thing. Right? So, just not a lot of stuff here. Anyway, Newmont. This one, interesting to me because I feel like it is bottoming, but I wouldn't be surprised if we got back down there at some point. P A S S or A A S pass. Let it let it pass on it. All these names. Taiwan semi. Okay, let's get into tech because this is where it starts to get interesting, right? Little M top. If you look intraday, looking cute, <laughs> looking cute. Micron again. Pop. Give it all back. AMD held up pretty well actually. Got to give it credit. But the wick again. Again, if you go watch after the open. There was really no buyers. It was just a choppy, sloppy mess. NVIDIA, amazing earnings. Something smells fishy about their earnings. All the sales in Singapore, all this stuff. It's like some people were hoarding their chips, but then there's going to be just as good of chips coming. I, ugh, you can't like that for earnings. Intellectual property. We talked about the 44s. Again, failure. Check the weekly out. Here, I'll post. Not post it, but I will just share it. Look at it. Could it get, a, I don't know, maybe the 200 week? I, ugh, we'll see. SMH, again, not surprised that this popped and flopped again. Getting tired up here. Adobe's, check it out. Coming into, uh, oh, this is another one on the weekly. It's a little, little interesting. Check it out, right? Hmm. Okay, yeah, getting a little tired. Shorted Apple today on the open. Why not? Everyone's keeping this calling for 195. I just, again, I think this is a bull trap. You can have multi-day bull trap, y'all. Amazon. This one to me looks interesting to short, because I, but I'm not jumping into this one just yet because I do believe they might get like a little bit of a pop on Friday because the Black Friday, they're going to talk about sales and you know, everyone's going to be excited and whatever. CRM, checking it out in the 225 range. Guggenheim filled the gap from earnings and then wicked out. Keep an eye on it. Meta, again, didn't expect these things to get up this high, but they are. Got some resistance coming in soon in the blue zone. Not there yet. Microsoft, amazing. Nice run. Congrats. Getting a little tired up here. Looking this open AI stuff. I mean, again, I don't know if it's buy the rumor, sell the news, or it's just a sell the news event. <laughs> Meaning like it just ran up and you're just done. Uh, NDAQ, I'm starting to look at this one. I didn't add any today. I don't know why. I just kind of was so focused on other things. I like this here. MicroStrategy, again, Bitcoin holding up. It's chopping around. It doesn't look like it wants to break out. Look at that candle with volume. The arrow. Dangerous. Netflix coming into the 480s. It's coming into a retest. If you go check out, here's another one on the weekly. Again, this is why I went in doubt. Zoom out. Always start on bigger charts. Back testing a trend line. Massive trend line. And the blue zone. Hmm. 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 Interessante. Roblox all over the place. I thought, yeah, it was down, up, down, up, down, up, chopping. Held the 200 day, though. Tesla. Again, they're going after Elon hard. We'll see. Chopping. Again, I don't have an opinion. I think he, but again, free speech is free speech. I mean, I don't give a shit if someone says something negative. Cancel them if you want, but don't ruin the platform. Uh, X, or sorry, Costco said watch after into this gap. And then again, I was watching the 590s. I have a <clears throat> the 10 minute. I'll see what I'll show you guys what I was looking at. This area in here, anything I kind of, anything I liked. And then during the day, it basically just ran up and then chopped all day. I have to give it credit, though. It did hold the 590 level, but just keep an eye on it. I mean, again, I think these names at some point. Starbucks said any pop, same thing. I'd look for a bigger one if you can get it. If not, we'll see. FedEx, 100 day, seems to be pinned. Caterpillar was down with deer earnings. But again, I think this name gets beaten at late one point. Oh, someone asked me to look at deer real quick. I'll do that. So a deer, a female deer. Da, 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 I think it's very clear that's like a big chop zone. This is where it gets a little harder. 
and had some old trend lines, all sorts of old crap. Let me clean this thing up. This this one's a tricky one because it's in a big chop zone. It kind of looks like ag to me, right? Like just the ag stocks. I mean, uh, fudge, fudge the goal. Sandwich. I mean, again, you've got a, a, a range high and a range low. It's kind of a hard short here. It's just in, it's just a big choppy range. I think uh, uh, I don't know. I mean, if the market goes down, it goes down. It's just eh, again, it's hard. Nucor, like it up here in the blue zone. Letter X, we talked about. Just leave that thing alone. Valet, valets. Man, nice gap down today. Big volume again. Some of these commodity names popping all over the place. Arrow, we talked about, is due to bounce, but copper, we'll see. Twenty day CCJ holding up incredibly well. Got to give it credit. Don't know what to say. I mean, it's projected up. Eh. Let me just pull up a weekly. I'm curious to look at CCJ weekly. Uh, okay. I, you know, something smelled fishy here. We're in the zone. I, just keep an eye on it. If it gets over, cool. I mean, I've sent headlines about uranium for days, and I don't like when you see things in the news at highs because it feels very distributed. Because who's buying that? Retail, CF, Mosaic, all these names. Again, like the ag names, it's kind of like looking at deer. Like they're just in these big, 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 big chop zones. Right, big, 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 right? I mean, I don't know about deer, honestly. I think they've got some stuff that's going to fail. Uh, AA, NTR, same kind of thing, big chop. Chop zone, AA, love these names long-term. I mean, you need aluminum. Just let the prices come in. XLF, hit our trend line, hit our back test at our trend line. Keep it simple. So stupid. Watching these names again. If you shorted JP Mo today, I like it. I like it a lot. You I mean you're getting tired up here? Look at this. Just getting tired. Morgan Stanley. Man, really wanted to see 82. I don't think we're getting there. Bank of America hit our channel trend line. Geold Goldman Schmacks just chopping, looking for any you know pop short. Carry. We talked about the 45s fail. 200 day. Yeah, keep it simple, stupid. XBI, again, I'll run through a few of these indexes. Check this out. Uh, channel high, been all over the place. XLB. Do, 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 do. Chopping here, major moving averages. XLI. Chopping, again, and people are like, well, what is this saying? It's like, yeah, these all had big moves and they're coming into resistance. I mean, here's the next box. So, box so fun. Keep an eye on it. XLE. Yeah, we know this one. Oil's all over the place. Uh, IYT, check this out, right? Little hammer, no, not as gap over the 100 day. XHB, housing stocks, look at this, chopping up here. XRT, look at the retail stocks. I mean, looking a little tired. So keep an eye on it. Solar, we talked about this being oversold due to rally. All that money that was coming into um, uh, budget talks, they got some spending. Uh, again, people are like, oh, excited. Wee, gotta, gotta buy my, gotta buy my solar stock. No. And they, again, I'd be looking for shorties on bounce, but these things are so beaten. First solar again. This one gets interesting up here. Look at it, multiply three day range. HYG got into seventy fives today. <sighs> Doji, novice gap filled a gap. Keep an eye on it. Oil we talked about being all over the place. I mean, you've got um, OPEC speak supposed to have a meeting soon, and they backed it up a couple of days. They want to get everybody in line. UNG just leave it alone. XOP. Again, we talked about looking for bounces. It just keeps it seems to be holding the 200 day pretty well. So just watch the floor. Know the floor, know the ceiling. Exxon Mobil, we talked about this one holding the 100 level. Same kind. I mean, a lot of these names very look similar. You know, if you shorted highs, they look good. If, you know, until they break, they break. Man, look at that. Held the trend line perfect today. Keep an eye on some rallies on these, maybe for a day or two till OPEC speaks. And then. Short make sure you said, man, X Occidental is just always nowhere. It just doesn't look good. Again, Buffett must be loving. It. He's selling more stock or cover calls. EQT, let's check that out again. Chopping around. And flex LNG. Chopping. All right. If you have any questions, please reach out. Check out the live chat we did today. I think it was really great. In the last 20, 30 minutes talking about the psychology of trading. If you're struggling internally, <laughs> I can help you with that too. I think I have pretty good knowledge on such. Also, let me know uh, how I can help you with real estate stuff. The, the real estate market we talked about is going to be volatile. There's some amazing deals. It's crazy. 17.2% of all deals in October basically got with uh, deals got with withdrawn. 
Like, that's crazy. And then sales, 30-year high in the number of houses that had price decreases. Now, again, the, the size of the price decrease is not a, a, like a known number, but just knowing that, like, that's that's high, y'all. That's high. <laughs> so if you have any questions, again, reach out. Love you guys. Have a great night. Happy holidays. Happy Thanksgiving if I don't talk to you. Peace. Hey, thanks for watching. If you have any questions, stop by the Discord room. A link is in the description below. Also, if you'd like to help support more free content, your PayPal link is in the description as well. I appreciate your continued support of the channel.